But first, let's go exploring. Let's go finish the northern lands. The skull fields. Okay. Ah, dang it. So, how about staff? Is it time we got like... No, no. Or is... Actually, no. Isn't it time we got a champion? Or we can just withdraw everything. And then... Hmm. Uh, kingdom upgrades. How about more income? Actually, other buildings? Extend the prison. Yeah, no. Income. Increases tax income. Yeah, you know, in in hindsight, maybe I should have done this. You know, you know what's a good way of making money, guys? Bet on the champion. Let's see, we can bet 1,200 gold. No, 1,500 gold. Let's see, I win. Alright, I win a bunch for my bet. Nice. Oh wait, did it not win enough? Oh, right, right, I keep forgetting it's, it's not double or nothing. Oops. <laughs> Grand Champion one win. Well, I mean, he did just beat the other champion, so, I mean... I mean, it's not like he can get a, a lot of matches under his belt just taking one champion fight. <laughs> wait, how are you doing, Gaspacho? Also, did the music turn off again? No? Music still... Hmm. Uh, actually, wait, can I explore somewhere? The, can I bet on the Brawler's Pit? Champion is away fighting in the Black Market. Okay, wait, hold on. Black Market? Ah, oh, wait. Are oh, we not allowed in? We want to go? Yeah, no, no, I do not want to go. <laughs> Excel link was worth it. <laughs> Hello, police. Yeah, this man right here. <laughs> but yeah, uh, small Terra is pretty cute. <laughs> uh, let's see, mining company, combat, mercenaries. Can't exactly do anything. Uh, frail. Oh, I've been on Crom. How about we do 2,000? Oh, god damn. We've been on a fight again. Let's go with the veteran warrior. The max. Oh, is this like how much money that's left in the house? Oh, that's one sided. Sure, we got a lot of money. Okay, now we can make our upgrades because we need more taxes. That's what this country needs. Yep. And we can't really do much else, so the rest of this goes into the bank. And we shall... Actually, no, wait. What, what's our diplomacy at this rate? Because we... We defeated the the Mog Kingdom. So now next to this Kaos. Yeah, they got a lot of wealth. We could go raiding. Yeah, you know what? We could go raid them. Because uh, we can steal more money before we do anything.
Okay, so you can attack house. Let's go raid them. They got a lot of money. Send in half, but no peasants. Oh yeah, easy. The raid was a success. We stole 2,300 gold. We lost 24 men, but they lost 120. Nice. Do we lose any knights? I don't think so. So we're being attacked by rebels. Oh no. Oh no, no, we defeated the attackers. Nice. Okay, so we uh, fended them off as well. So the mercenary group is disbanded. Received word that one of your territories was ruined in a massive meteorite crash. Your people people escape unscathed, but the land is now bare. What? We lost the land? From a meteorite? Are you serious? What? Uh, mythic clan kill off a group of Aslan and one as Lana and Knights. Oh, what? We lost the knight? Google's company fight with as Lana patrol but lose. Aw. Fight pit. Interest. Taxes. Oh, that's a lot of extra gold from taxes. Oh my god. Yeah, I should have upgraded this a lot earlier. <laughs> 50 peasants to soldiers. Peasants earn me much more gold. General. Wow, 10, 11,000 gold. All right. Oh my god, we have way too many people. Yeah, uh, I kind of want to keep up the ravel. It takes, it's going to take so long to keep out or to go through all these people, but some of them have really good stuff. Hmm. Oh, whoops. I put 23, didn't I? So, peasants, 11. That's a deal. Uh, I'm not selling my knight. Did I actually sell my knight? Oh, are you serious? The pressing two make it so that it's it sells the knight. I have ten knights. No. Okay, no, never mind. So. Oh wait, we, we just can't explore anywhere. Aw. Okay, so then diplomacy. How are the independents doing? Oops, I meant four. So they lost troops. We took a, a good amount of money from them. How's our allies doing? Yeah, that's a lot of... That's a lot of stuff. Actually, how much... Uh, hold on. How many soldiers do we have? Because we can send extra troops uh, to them to build up relations. Yeah, I think we can afford to send, like, a hundred if we wanted to. Yeah, let's go send them some more people. Uh, so what was it again? Diplomacy. Uh, independence. Oh, no, that's cows. We can also send them a gift of gold. How much do they value this? Praise you immensely. Yo, wait, they really like... They really like money. How about military aid? So that's... Okay. Celebrates profitable relationship. Okay, yeah, that's... That's pretty good. Actually, like, do I really want to mess with this... These guys... Uh, actually, what if I try trade agreement? I need to do more Ganesh trust, but does not thank you. They form a trade route, but warns that they can stop at any moment. 
Yeah. I know that was a lot of money, but... See, Alliance, need to do more, yeah. So four. Okay, let's go look at the arena. Grand Champion. Bet on afflicted or banished? Banished peasant. <laughs> the banished peasant wins, yo. Let's see, bet on the grand champion fight. Can't lower that a little bit. I'll bet on the champion again. Uh, how about we bet one thousand? Oh no! I lost my money. Well, there's now a new champion. What's up, this guy? He's slightly stronger, but not by much. Well, well, time to go to the brawler's pit. Bet on the match. Uh, let's go bet on the infamous bandit. Let's go bet like. 2,000. Hey, Looney. Oh, no. No. Ellen, no. Okay. Okay, I, I got some of my money back. Let's bet on another fight. The Dirty Champion. Yeah, I'll bet on the champion. Oh god, this is a very even match. Oh yeah. I did it. <laughs> so got some extra money to work with. Kingdom upgrades. Guilds, no. Income. I can earn income from prisoners, but I don't want to imprison people that often. <laughs> hey, literal. How you doing? Yeah, I don't really imprison people that often. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, I think I should probably get nobility quarters at this rate. Because uh, we can continuously train more powerhouse units every every turn. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, I should go do that actually. So, no, not that one. Oh, wait, how much gold do we make from harvest? Income, harvest. Actually, where is it? Harvest. Oh, 245 gold. Nah, that's not too much. So, kingdom upgrades, recruitment. Nobility quarters. There we go. And how many knights do we get now? Oh no, we only have that much. And we should probably bank the rest of this. So, deposit all. Hello? Now we can withdraw like 2,000 so I can get more, uh, better recruits going. So, what is it? Uh, military... And giant recruitment signs. Oh, wait, that's a final upgrade? Oh, alright. And we were explored the realm. Did I visit the throne? Oh, wait, we got a lot of people. Uh, give them four gold. Oh, I don't have the gold. <laughs> right, I just spent everything. Uh, cut the baby in half. The farmer woman cries out, we'll give it to the farmer woman. Let's see, reparations. I don't have the money, sir. Actually, can we just keep out 
Actually, wait, does it change? Ah, okay. So, hiring for an assassination. I just spent my money. Uh, the lobster dude from Kaos. Why are you, how are you mistreated? They ridiculed me over something I didn't do. Yeah, welcome aboard. Uh, were you, did you commit murder? I was framed. Welcome aboard. Accept the knight. Oh, wait. Edge knight. Oh, yo. Sure, I'll take a free knight. Uh, been sentenced to death. Why are you sentenced? I stepped on a spider. Apparently it was our leader's pet. <laughs> Aww. Although, wait, didn't I? No, I was thinking. Oh, wait, no, no. I, I'm trying to build up relations with these guys. Yeah, I know he stepped on the, the leader's spider, dude, but uh, you can go back. Uh, musical- oh, not this dude again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice melodies. Uh, let's see. Visited by a man. Traveling silver tongue. Why would you want to lower your public opinion? And I don't have the money. Because I just used it all. I'm sorry, sir. Oh, so if you try to keep out... Keep out the rabble, and then you try to flip it back. Oh, okay, so it just drives everyone away. Because it flipped between the people that were more important and the uh the random peasants but i guess after you go through one visit it'll kick out everyone else waiting okay then uh we can go save what's the kingdom report again on troops all right status on knights uh let me check diplomacy again how are the goblins doing? That's a lot of goblins. Um, independence. Let's see, cows. Oh no, should we just go hard on this invasion? Yeah. So let's go attack them. Let's just go invade. Send in half the troops, but don't send the peasants. For the love of God, like they they provide us all the money. Uh alright, let's crush them. So we've gained one land. Neat. No one attacked us in retaliation. So we get Oh wow, yeah. The chiefdom gives us a lot of money, even though we're not on the greatest of relations. They they have a lot of money. Let's see, animal fight gets us some money, interest from stuff, taxes, stray demon, knights train into soldiers, harvest is eh. I pay blank amount in wages to soldiers, some amount to knights. An independent merchant caravan visits your land and gets you gold. Let's see, Kaos gets not much again. Bandits lost a skirmish with our allies. And our allies went on a skirmish against the bandits. Okay, so they're keeping the, ba the bandits in check. That's nice. See, I found a lost knight and vows to join our service. Nice. And Wilderman. Let's see. You approach the gigantic mountain of Seraph, and it's at its foot a large encampment of Wildermen who worship the mountain and the gods of death who they believe live atop of it. We approach the encampment and they're ready to attack us. Well send in half our people. 
Yeah, it's easy. Let's crush him. We lost some people, but we burnt down their camp. We can send a knight to climb atop the mountain. Sure. The knight removes his heavy armor and begins to climb. He climbs for a while before he falls down. The knight survives. Oh, uh, wait, is this like an RNG thing on whether or not we get anything by sending our knights to death or not? Ah, uh, the knight died! Okay, uh, I'll send one more. He moves his armor, he slips, but he is fine. Yeah, wait, what the heck is on top of this mountain? So we have 11 knights in our ranks. Uh. Yeah, I am really curious on what's on top of that mountain. He dies on imp- Okay, no, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I'm not sending people to their deaths, I'm sorry. Uh, let's just go to the Brawler's Pit and gamble. Let's see, Giant Fisted Brawler. Let's bet... Come on, that's all in. Right. The guy punched him so hard and I got a lot of money. Let's see, the mine. We could try to buy it. Or we can attack it. With everyone but my peasants. Yeah. We're taking this mine by force. This game. <laughs> Look. I'm trying to atone for the past mistakes of my father. Look, he, he carelessly spent his money, but I make sure I win my bets. <laughs> okay, let's take this mine by force. Uh, let's see, turn peasants into miners. Ooh, prospect other caverns within the mine. How many peasants? Oh yeah, we can fill this mine to the max. And we can... Let's see, how much money do we have? Actually, wait, can't we... Uh, we have upgrades for better mining, right? That's, that's trade stuff, productivity. Improve mining income. No. Although we could get. No, 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 no. Trading wear units. Less likely to get, to get raided. Yeah, I would like to get raided less often. But training more men? No, but if I train more men, the problem is. Or what was it? The problem is I'll have to pay more for every single uh, troop I have. So if I train too many, I can't pay all of them. Uh, how's recruitment? We can upgrade the goblin hut, but uh, so, nope. No, I don't want to earn income from prisoners because we barely have any. Like, how many do we have in our prison? Like, we have... Oh, we have 99 prisoners? Huh. You know what? Do I get a labor yard? Or... No, actually, we have a... Okay, hold on. 10%. You know what? I think I'll spend on the harvest and then... Maybe spend... Or... And bank the rest for later. Yeah, I think I'll just get this and then just bank the rest of my money. Let's see, save. Oh, yeah, wait, how about uh, visiting the throne room? Six people waiting. Except this guy. Wait, Hedge Knight, Venom Wizard's Tower, 20 Chaos Orbs. 
Am I playing PoE? Okay, sure. Let's see, visited by a sign from our seeks refuge. Why are you sentenced to death? You murdered a guard trying to extort. You tried extorting me for money. Well, I mean, I'll send you back to my allies because I want better diplomatic relations, sir. Okay, bye. So, an orb. Sure, I'll take the orb. Let's see. Uh, why, how are you mistreated? I was too ugly and they beat me with whips. Nah, I'll return you. Uh, let's see. Wanna join? Sure, the knight joins our ranks. So, who wants to go up Death Mountain? <laughs> and... Yeah, I guess that's about it. Although I could try to hire, like, what was it? Hire uh, a champion to fight for me. Hmm. So you know what? Wait, right, let's withdraw three thousand gold. Let's see if I can hire some champions. So we don't really need Court Jester. So in terms of champions... Ah, uh, I don't see the 2k guy anymore. Uh, there is a the number 13 guy. Or... Bukati's Knight? Yeah, let's, let's go get a strong champion. Okay, so what do you do? Knight's past cannot reveal under an oath. Knight's stats. Oh wait, is he wait is he here for just defense or something? Actually, let me go look at the tutorial. So wait, what's this about? Let's see, the High Council General. Wait, he. And give you advice on strategies, in-depth military reports, informed on battles between other factions, diplomat, and broker peace. Let's see, soldiers, uh, vassal nations. If you were king, not afraid of the occult. Uh, diplomacy? Vassalization. How do you make a... How do you make a nation your vassal? Huh. So wait, military action, skirmishing... Invasion during the year... Oh yeah, wait, actually, can I hire some mercenary companies? Uh, because I could hire them, and then maybe try to, let me see, what's the bandit horde at? Oh, the bandit horde is slowly losing, or is definitely losing a lot of people. Yeah, like, we, we need to worry about these guys. Oh god, like, that, that goblin kingdom. So, do you guys want to have an alliance now? Uh, we need more. We need to gain his trust more. So, these guys have a lot of money. We could go raid and take their money. Attempt to vassalize? Huh. Hmm. Actually, what happens if you try to vassalize something? Hold on. Uh, was it military action? No. Was it diplomacy? So, vassalization... You can instruct them to attack other factions. You can instruct them to cease all hostilities. They provide tribute. They provide soldiers and gold. Strong nations provide greater gold and more troops. 
troops may have a better battle score than your own soldiers. Yeah, you know, we could attempt it. So how does it work? Actually, let me save, because if something goes really dumb, uh, I, I'll probably just save load it because I'm not sure how it works. So what's going to happen if I try to vassalize them? Like, uh, carries a request and he accepts. Oh, neat. We like a trade agreement. You want me to hang three of my peasants? Well, we have a couple thousand. What's three pe- <laughs> Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Let's see. Most of them assume to be- Assume the peasants to be criminals and think little of it. <laughs> uh, an alliance? What? This is how they become- Look! It's for the good of the, the nation. But they want me to burn a hundred of my peasants? <laughs> what? No. Like... We can be trade partners, but I don't think I'll sacrifice like up to hundreds. How suspicious. Yeah, what, what are vassal options? Uh, let's see, recruitment information. 25% to join our military. Yeah, you don't want to... I'm guessing I don't want to recruit too much from them. Since our relations are still kind of on the low side. Yeah, well, I'll ally just start killing your own people. Uh... Yeah, I think I'll just uh, stay like this. So they're the vassal. Now we can focus on... Actually, you know, we got a trade agreement, but these guys don't want to... How much gold do we have? 1,200. Mm. Actually, if I send them one more, but there's not thank you. Needs more to conv Oh my god, how much more money do you want to have an alliance? Because your troops are pretty strong and you have a lot of money, so I would like to trade with you. Yeah, we're, uh... We're gonna need to do some raids on these guys. So, we need to save... And do we explore the realm already? Yeah. Throne room, the laws, diplomacy. Yeah. So let's go take on Morrow. Let's go raid their lands because they got tons of money. So we can send half the troops but no peasants. Yeah, sure. So you arrive, we lost some people, but we get a lot of gold. Okay, so a lot of lucrative trade deals. Yeah, that's pretty good. So, uh, kill off. Wait, mercenary groups? Ah, oh, they tried to kill our, they killed some of our soldiers. Animal fight pit gets us money, more taxes. I receive gold from the mine. Nice. Uh, one free knight. Train more to soldiers. They earn us more from harvest. Diplomatic training has failed because our freaking guys learn nothing from their studies. Let's see, a knight pledges himself. We get a lot of money. Uh, Morrow. Yeah. All right, so how's the throne room looking? Let's see, you want the pay raise? Bruh! No. I'll just give you a partial pay raise. Let's see, Scion, well, odds of the ruler. Suggested our ruler seek guidance instead of making a loan decision. Ah, sure, we'll take you. 
Storm, how are you mistreated? They did not recognize my talents. Yeah, no, no, you're going back because we need better diplomatic relations with your people. Uh, the coin of fate? Ah. Yeah, no, kill this man. Uh, we're always seeing illusions of demons wanting to make a, a deal with us. Do you want to join our ranks? He, he declines. He's no longer affiliated. So visited by a storm lord. Why do I seem interesting? Okay, you're gonna go back. Uh, how much gold do we have now? Oh, nice. We can withdraw everything. So we got 30k. Actually, let's go explore. And by explore, I mean we'll go to the brawler's pit and bet on bet on some matches. So fresh blood or the spike knuckled brawler. Yeah, we, we want some easy money. So the war, I want to bet on the warlord. I like the bet zero. <laughs> hey, Seraph, thank you for the host. How was your stream? Welcome to War Sim, where I'm trying to gamble to increase my kingdom's, uh, or to fill my kingdom's treasury. <laughs> T totally not, uh, irresponsible whatsoever. Uh, what if we send half our troops to attack this now? Oh yeah, we can start attacking the black markets to get rid of the bandits, uh, the bandit problem. Uh, hell yeah. Wanna go again? <laughs> Gambling. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, f it's for the financial stability of my kingdom. <laughs> hey, Ice Cream. Hey, Nefarious. Hey, Senkai. How are you guys doing? Send in half the troops, but no peasants. Damn, we lost zero men. Okay. Oh, and we control the black market, so... Yo, wait. Uh, it's now ours. Business has now entirely halted. Some flee the market while some wait for our judgment. Trade levy on the market. Uh, now I've taken it, my one changed its laws and put some soldiers in its garrison. Look for manage the black market in the center. Uh, oh, here it is. Manage the black market. So, view the levy report. Ah, uh, so, oh my god, there's so much micromanagement going on. Because this is just a side area. This is not even, like, my kingdom. Oh my god. Well, at least I got rid of the bandit problem, so they stopped selling bandits to other nearby uh, enemies. This is a good run for this playthrough, though. <laughs> Single pull. Hey, Kid Gil. <laughs> okay, so we cannot upgrade, manage the garrison so people don't take back the black market. So add soldiers. I'd say we could add... I'd say we add like 200 soldiers. So ban goblins from the black market. We will ban slavery because that is immoral. Stop allowing bandit groups to hire mercenaries from the market. Because, well, I don't want them to hire them against us. <laughs> okay, and central clock. No. Local ruined building. Abandoned building. Nothing. Does anyone want to join us? Peasants join. And a trio of bandits. Anyone else want to join? What if I keep asking? Can I keep asking? You met with a cold reception. Ah, uh, so if you ask too much. Ah, uh, yeah. So I'm guessing it refreshes every day. Visit the gallows. Visit the market stalls. 
Let's see. Increase the strength of who eats it, but only for a while. Oh, so these fruits... Oh, I didn't know that these fruits did stuff. So, orbs. Orb of chaos. Wait, but we got 20 chaos orbs. What the heck? So, orbs. Heirlooms. Orb of chaos. Why are they so expensive? This is a powerful artifact. I don't see anyone selling them anything like they can buy soup. Uh, I don't want to spend that much though. Cheat sellers? A cheat scroll? What the heck? There's a chance that we can get a cheat code on a scroll. Yeah, no, no. Okay, for a blessing. Okay, no, that, that does nothing. A uh, little book? Oh, I know, but I can't read. <laughs> I don't have a library in my kingdom. <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> uh, oh, a magic mushroom stall. Sure, I'll take a magic mushroom and eat it. Enjoy the trip. The beast thing. What the heck? Oh, oh my god, I'm tripping balls here. I, I feel like I'm not here at all. Oh my god. How are you? Wait, is that a duck? If you're seeing this, you're helping. The void is calling me! Wait, wait, this is... Wait, this is binary for something. What the heck? Wait, what did the numbers mean? The numbers! <laughs> huh. Which they did bring them down. Okay, that, that, that's pretty... pretty weird. <laughs> Definitely ASCII. <laughs> hey, Neil Luke. Is ASCII binary? See, visit the Wheel of Wealth. Is it gambling? Spend 10 gold to get 100 gold. Ah, oh, hell yeah! I get 1 gold. Ask about the odds. There's a 20% chance to get 1 gold. Okay. The stall of many meats. No. Uh, stall of keys. What's a skull key? Merchant traded said it should be destroyed. No one should have to find the place that key unlocks. We'll buy it. Yeah, so we got a skeleton key to some forbidden place, but we have no idea what said place is. Huh. You gonna go to bed now? Okay, ice cream. I have a nice one. Let's see, there's a gallows, sudden death. Let's see, how about the fighter's district? Visit the ruins. Let's see. Speak to the bartender. What's with that nose thing? He had a big nose, oh my god. <laughs> this is a long description for one fighter. He had a big nose, his name was Nezal. So they call him Nezal the Nose. He was a talented fighter, made a name for himself. One night he beat the wrong fighter and found himself surrounded by thugs while heading home one day. The thugs broken all but his limbs and cut his nose off. He wasn't dead, but he might as well or he might as well have been. Ooh. It wasn't far from the tavern and I was heading to open her up and I saw the whole thing. I thought Nezal was dead. Not sure what uh why, but I thought to take and preserve the nose. You you what? Thought I could rename my bar after it or something, but people didn't seem to care about Nezel after the incident. Funny how glory can dissipate into nothingness. Still, here it sits. For the adult section. Let's see, who are you? Uh, who runs the black market? Someone very important. Well, I run the black market. Who do you think took it over? Look at the nose. 
Okay. Yeah, so there's nothing much going on here. Look at some swords. Look at another sword. Oh man, look at these swords. Okay. Speak to shop clerk. Why to other weapon shops? The big weapon war. Dagger stop sh or dagger shop stole from spear spears. Oh yeah. So the dagger shop stole spears from the spear shop and smelted them, reforging them into daggers. That started it all. Ended up with an all-out battle between all the shops. The owners of this shop were the last ones standing. Now you can only buy swords here. Strange, I know. <laughs> oh, okay. Visit this hall's hut. Let's see. Uh, who are you? Niz on the nose. Oh, oh god. Me, I am Niz on the nose. Uh, once one of the mightiest fighters the black market had ever seen. I was beaten by a gang of armed thugs one night as I left the pit. I remember the day. I had ca killed another fighter in combat, a champion many thought would be the end of me. Well, someone must have lost a lot of money on a bet because they paid those nasty thugs. They broke my bones, cut off my fame long nose to leave me unrecognizable, and never fought again. I've been living a meek life on my leftover winnings for two decades since, and not a day goes by where I wish I could, or where I wouldn't wish to awake with full strength and my nose in its place, ready to fight each bastard that uh, had me in that alleyway. I'd beat them all the pace if I would. Those dreams are never to be a reality. I'm a mutilated cripple with a withered past. Ah, damn. Can I hire you? Hey, I'm sure you probably want a new life than living in this hut. I mean, I, I have the money to pay you. Ah, uh, there's no option to, to pay for this guy. Aww. So this hut, who's this dude? Into the hut, very muscular dude. I am strong. <laughs> okay. What do you do? Me, I walk around being strong and getting into adventures. Okay. <laughs> Fighter's pit. Champion is away fighting in the brawl pit. I can bet on a fight. How about... I take my chances with the warrior more than some bandit. Let's go gamble. Yeah! No, no, bandit! Oh, don't tell me he's running a dodge build. Oh, no! This was rigged from the start! No! Come on, just get, you just need one more hit! Yeah! That's how we do it. Dodge build. And this is why dodge builds aren't as good. You, you take those two, three hits and you're dead. Doesn't matter how many attacks you dodge. What matters is how much you can even take in the first place. Easy. How's Black Row doing? This is the abandoned shack. Let's see. You, you enter the ruined house and see a bloodied head on the floor. In a large skull marked floor, the smell in the room is awful, and you can't stay for long. Well, why is there a head on the ground? You investigate the bloodied head on the floor. It seems that the head is covered in scratches and appears to be half eaten, with a large chunk, skull and all, missing from the head. The smell is awful, you can't stay for long. Hello? You use the skull key. Oh, this is where our skeleton key works? Although, skeleton keys uh, technically should work everywhere, but... Open a door, scorch marks, single scroll. Ye who holds the key of skulls, follow its trail no more. For ye shall find eternal pain, and nothing worth the bore. But if ye seek a fate as this, then I shall leave a single clue. Where there be sand, there you must go. Okay, uh, okay, time, time to bring up the Google Doc. I need to write this down. Write that down, write that down. 
Uh, is this my Google Drive? Oh, that is the wrong Google Drive. That is not the email I want to use. Uh, I want this email. Where there is sand. Okay, okay. Uh, skeleton key clue. Uh, number one. Wait, let me see. So, where there be sand, there you must go. So they want me to go through the Southlands in exploration. So, abandoned shack. Let's visit the thing with the oval on it. You enter a building with a red oval painted on it. Met by a group of bald men in robes, they seem a little surprised by your visit, but welcome you. The room is dusty and seems like it's long been abandoned until recently. In the center of the room is a book on a pedestal. Uh, the leader? Let's see, Proot Welcome to the Doom Hall, home of the Brotherhood of Doomstone. Who are you? I am a noble. What's the Doom Hall? Structure of worship. What's the Doomstone? Magical stone far into the wild north, is like a place. What do you do here? We believe in the holy doomstone and we believe the stone holds the truth of the world. We sit with it and hear its secrets. Okay. What if we read the book? The tenants always listen to the stone, never question it. Those who threaten, those who abandon, those who are late, those whose names start with P. Excuse me? Those who worship other stones will be beheaded. Those who behead without confirmation from the Grand Brother shall be beheaded. Those who ask to be uh who asked to be beheaded shall be drowned <laughs> What? <laughs> what the hell is this? Okay. This is the strange building. No. Visit the old ruins. Nope. Kings. Uh monuments of those who rule over the black market. Shouldn't my name be on the top? Hey. <laughs> Visit the burned shacks. No. Black alley. You approach. <laughs> oh man. Die. Okay. Said to have been cursed by great evil. Those who enter are never seen again. A small wooden doorway that says no adults. Um. Let's go exit all the way out and save before we lose all this progress I made. Man, th this turn is taking forever because we are spending a lot of time in the black market. Like, this is the most I've ever done with the black market. I never even uh, took it over before. Okay, uh, was it the black row? Yeah, yeah, black alley. Let's send a soldier through. You send a weary soldier, he makes his move. He screams, he's gone, a demonic cackle. Oh. Let's go through ourselves. You enter the alleyway and see darkness, not light, but true darkness. The thing that rests in the hallway is not a monster, not a demon, but the truest incarnation of darkness itself. Pure darkness. A force that shouldn't exist. You are terrified, but it's too late. You are frozen as every inch of your body screams out an instant of pain. But you are pushed away from the alley and you hear a voice shout, No! In a manner almost as though we're scolding you. Huh? You discover a hideout. See, a den of kids. Who are you? See, we take coins from people. Oh, the pickpockets. Uh, stop pickpocketing people and I'll give you money. Hey, public opinion. There we go. And visit the small house of the dark red X. So we can summon a demon for a fee. Mm, no. <laughs> Assassin's Den. Nope. Demon Hunters. Nope. Black Market Sewers. You enter the dingy sewers of the Black Market, said to have once been a small dungeon network, now funnels the waste of Black Market and littered with skulls. Hmm. Speak to a local mutant. I am Ergberg. <laughs> okay. Rat racing den? Play marathon? No, I don't want to gamble down here. Let's see. Ooh, we can pick a fruit. 
Oh my god, like, there's so many random daily things to remember, what the heck? The Dirt Den, the Mad Men's Den. Put a Chaos Orb in there. Let's see, the orb darkens, the wall gets bright. The black market feels calmer, it's strange. Calmer? Take... Chaos Orb out of the wall? Things seem darker again. Uh, what does that do to the black market? They the people seem calmer. Wait, what if I go to the black alley? Walk through. Wait, you approach. Uh, walk through the alley. Uh, no, 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 no. instant of pain. No, no, it's the same thing. Sewers, mural, blah, blah. Visit the ancient door. So, you approach a huge, towering, and magnificent ancient door nested among the sewer wall. It seems far more advanced than all that surrounds it, and a great deal older than anything you've ever seen. The door has what seems like a combination in front of it. Uh, anyone have any suggestions in chat for a number I can put in? Well, I guess if we find like a random clue, I guess that's when we when we put it. I, I gotta make a note of this. Black market sewer. Uh, five number combo. Yeah, like I, I guess like whatever we randomly explore, we'll have to find. So let's just go with uh. Day. Uh, visit the tavern. No one feels like brawling. Nobody feels like fighting. Oh, so you can stop random brawls and stuff here? What the heck? Stargazer. What's 12? How do you play 12? At the start of the game, the player rolls a dice. Anything above a 1 indicates the number of dice. Roll a 6. I, I, uh, I, uh, okay, okay, I'm, there's too many, <laughs> it's kind of neat that there's all these random mini games from simple coin flips to other random gambling games, but, uh, it's too many mini games for me. Okay, so this is the guild row, dragon's kneecap, what's the, what's this one? You approach a man who sat three strong, three figures, dragon knight, and a wench. Sure, I'll play your game. Clear, waiting for the fight. Send in the knight. Your knight is met by another. Oh, is it rock paper scissors? The wench. Your wench meets another. They have a heated discussion. Send in the wench again. Send in the dragon. Yeah, yeah, it's just rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> uh, okay. Bartender. Nah. Treasury. Holds all the black markets, gold supply. Oh, yo, look at all this gold. Hell yeah, I'll take all this. Shipbuilder, view the Grand Galleon. Oh, looks neat. One tenth scale replica, made by T H Guild. <laughs> okay. Speak to Guildmaster. Who are you? I am Bron. I build ships. Tell me about this place. Uh. No. Yeah, I, I you can't do anything with this. I don't know. It seems like the this is like a lot of other areas in the black market you could expand upon. Cause like maybe we can try making a deal with the shipbuilders guild to make better ships for faster for faster ships to complete trade routes with and all that, or something like that. Would have been nice. Uh, let's see, historian register for hundred gold. We need to pass a test. Wait. But I don't know how to read. 
visit the library, year one books, read. The Wildermen, unfortunately for some. Uh, the Savage. Five major clans, savage, small groups in the north. Well, about those five Wildermen clans up north, I kind of wiped out two of them from existence. Oops. Look, I approached them and tried to talk with them, and they raised their weapons. So I took that, uh, I, it was all in self-defense, so I took my whole army and wiped them out. Uh, zoology? Speak to Guildmaster, who are you? Like, it's kind of neat that there's like individual NPCs for all this stuff though. That's a worm? Oh, that's like just their heads and stuff. Oh, neat. Yeah, there's not really much here. Herald office? Chief editor. Write something nice about me. Of course. Yeah, whatever. Uh, the library. I want the repairman's lodge. Speak to the repairman. Yeah, no. Like, there's a lot of kind of useless stuff here. I want the dock row. Visit the abandoned row of houses, enter the houses. Uh, you find strange folk taking multicolored mushrooms and rolling around the floor. Hello there. They don't seem to hear or notice me. Hello there. He hello. I said help. God. Yeah. Goddamn mushrooms. <laughs> Soup kitchen, I already went there before. Hat maker shop. The black wall. East Stock Company, Shipping Venture, uh, uh, I mean, uh, how about we trade, uh, Mage Tomes? The Long Serpent, hear a thunder chant. Crew of the Long Serpent begin chanting their song of thunder. For a moment, you could swear the sea getting more violent, the sky getting darker. Okay, <laughs> you gonna go watch from bed and lurk and stuff? Okay, Seraph, have a nice lurk. Stay comfy. Stay. Who are you, Ragnar the Stag? Okay, what about your ship? Fine ship, and there's nothing else of value here. So bye bye, sir. Seer of Mines. Take a reading. So you hand the seer his pay and see a large stream of smoke fill the tent. The smoke appears to assume the shape of many animals as it glides in through the air. The smoke begins to take form and the seer asks you to interpret it. The smoke takes form and remains uh, still to be seen again. You ask, what do you see? I see a flag. <laughs> what? That's it? And... Wait, that's it. Oops. Visit the slums. Visit the slum pit. Nah. Local... Donate gold to the slums. How much gold is needed? We need 2,500 to bring the slums out of depravity. We'll take anything we can get. Oh. Uh, wizard tower? No. No, ruins. Ah, yeah, I forgot about the riddles. So we already tried half orc. How about orc and goblin? Dang it, we're not worthy. Bug Hunter... Nah, nothing much here. So anything else we could manage with this place? So we can upgrade, revoke the ban... Slavery, nah. Allow mercenaries, nah. 
Uh, I think we can move back now. Actually, how's our mines doing? So let's see. Uh, there's stuff inside. Uh, how about... Nah, nah. So we have- Oh my god, look how much money we have! We got se nearly 75k. Alright then, so... How about we arrange diplomacy again? So we have almost we have almost ten thousand men. Oh my god! Wait, what's our troop report actually? Oh my god, that's a lot of peasants. Yeah, that's quite a bit. Oh boy. Uh, we kind. I should probably upgrade more to. Actually, no, 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 no. I may have gotten a lot of money, but this is just a lump sum, and this is not my income. Uh, I need stuff to ensure that my income is uh, higher and more stable. So, improve taxes. But we can also get the prison labor yard. Actually, wait. Uh, how's our prison looking right now? How many prisoners? 118. A total capacity of 1,000. Okay, okay. So... So for buildings, income, I'd say taxes because we got a lot more people we can tax. So that'll definitely go. And then in terms of recruitment, uh, we can spare some for goblins. Uh, how much gold do we have? 43, military. Uh, I think we're good with recruitment, to be honest. Hold on. Guilds, explore chances, found our own knightly order, capture barren lands, productivity, uh, better mining tools. Uh, I would love that. Although, we should get, I thought we should gear up for raiding other lands, though. No, but I did just say I want more money. Because the more you, the more money you build now, the more that'll stack up later. So it's all about the long con. And trade routes, they're not super lucrative right now, so I don't want to go for that. Yeah, I think I'll either get mining income. Or, let's see, and it's signs. Although I guess I can get training grounds. And, uh, mining tools, I think. Let's get mining tools. Oh, it's only a one-time upgrade. Nice. And let's go get training grounds. Trains 1 to 250 men. Yeah, that's pretty good. So we have 8,000. Um, let's have giant militia signs. And how is our bank looking? Yep, let's deposit all of it. And let's go save our game. Uh, let's see. Troop reports. Bunch of bandits. Soldiers, knights. Okay, so in terms of diplomacy, we're still at war with... Actually, hold on. How about the Bandit Horde? Yeah, you know what? Let's take care of the Bandit Horde now. Rebels are still kind of there. Actually, how are you guys doing? Check their stats. Yeah, that's a lot of people. Give them orders. Pledge to defend. Stop getting involved in military affairs. Nah. Yeah, let's go take uh, the bandit horde. So let's go to go to them. I'd say we just go ham with the invade. Send half the troops, but no peasants. Any blue tree? Sure, we got a lot. 
Yeah, let's crush him. So we only lost five men, we gained one land, nice. No one invaded us in retaliation. Uh, Venture has been successful getting us 10k gold. We got 532 gold, a bunch of trade money. Capture some villagers, seahorses. We enlist more soldiers, animal fight money, more taxes. Oh my god, look at the taxes and the trade levy. Look at the money piling in. Your bandits pillage from rebels, Eric and Noble. Oh, so if we hire more bandits, they can pillage for us. Oh, because they're technically not official soldiers, because official soldiers can only attack during the winter, but these guys can just go at any time. We get more money from the mine. We train more peasants to soldiers, knights, peasants to soldiers. Our peasants earn us... Oh my god! How much money did we earn this season? This is neat. Let's see, one of your knights leaves to become a knight errant. What? I pay 200 in wages for the soldier's garrison. Okay, fair enough. A foreign noble with foes in Aslana donates an army to the rebellion. Oh, that's not good. And a large, unexplainable magical explosion kills 30 of our soldiers. All 36 of my bandits flee to join the bandit horde? What? Aw, oh, come on! I gave them a chance from the black market, but I see where their loyalties lie. Okay then. Uh, four noble donates to the rebellion. Oh my god, wait, they are. How many are they donating to the rebellion? Aslania militia disbands after heated discussion about patrol. What? Wait. No. 